Hi, Rob here from Rob's Traditional Creations. I just wanted to put the final episode of the Buckboard Bacon. Um, if you come on over here, I can show you what I've got going. Last night, I took the bacon and rinsed it off uh, in the sink. I put it back in the container that I had it sitting in for the past 12 days. Put fresh water in, let it sit for an hour, and then I pulled it out. Right now, I'm trying to cold smoke it. I'm just a little under 100 degrees. That might be just a touch too warm, but I don't hear any fat dripping or anything. So we're going to take a look and see on the inside what it exactly looks like. And I just have the smoker going. I'm going to smoke it for about three hours. I got a little piece here cut off for you. I am going to, after smoking, I will just uh, take it put it in the freezer until it freezes just to where it's starting to get solid and then I'll put it on my slicer and slice it up that'll be a raw bacon if you wanted to cook this you could put it in an oven uh, or over a slow fire you could even start the fire in a smoker and bring it slowly up to 150 degrees then you would be able that's an internal Fahrenheit you would be able to uh, cut that up like lunch meat and just keep it in your refrigerator until you ate it. So what I got going over here is uh, I got my brazier and I'm just going to fry that little piece up to see what it tastes like. It's a lot thinner than the rest so it shouldn't should have taken about as much smoke as the rest of it will in a hour or another hour and a half time this is just a little trick I got from uh, one of Dave Canterbury's uh, instructors Sarge Feria uh, you keep your oil in a flask and it doesn't leak into your pack like a jar or a plastic bottle might so let me just uh, grab that piece out you can see it's starting to get a little bit of a bark on it and I'll just put that in the pan fry her up this pan was a uh, pan my wife picked up at a store for about four bucks it uh, is cast iron made in China of course but it came with a brownie mix it's a small pan good enough for like one bur one burger or earlier I made uh, some bannock in it and I uh, had filmed another video with a couple pieces of bacon I can tell you it's delicious already but uh, I didn't hit the button hard enough to film that so we're just out here today. My wife's got her maple trees tapped. You can see the buckets on the trees. And we had fresh maple syrup and pancakes this morning. Uh, the only thing missing was a buckboard bacon, but that's going away. Um, I've got a, another project that I've been working on. This is my haversack I made according to Mark Baker's directions out of A Pilgrim's Journey. Uh, I've got it oil cloth here uh, with the linseed oil and iron pigment, iron oxide it's called, and I'm just trying to let it dry out a little more. And I've got a couple belts I bought for a buck fifty from the Salvation Army, and they're going to be my straps. But I also put an internal pocket in, as you can see, and I got to yet sew the buttons on after this is all dried up. But that'll be a nice little haversack for knocking around the woods cost a ten dollar uh, Home Depot painters canvas they do have different different ounce weight so I would try to get the heaviest weight you can afford let's flip this over and see what we got here oh yeah it's cooking up now buckboard bacon is a mix between traditional bacon and um, uh, ham basically is what it tastes like a lot once you add the smoke to it though it really changes the flavor more to that of a bacon fully cured after the 12 to 13 days we left it uh, out kept it in at a uh, temperature between 30 and 40 degrees uh, it never froze and that's about it guys if you got any questions about this just post them and I'll answer them as fast as I can or any of the other projects if you'd like to see anything done put it up if I do it or I look it up I like to just do anything I see um, put it on there and I'll try so I just like to say have a great day get out and enjoy the outdoors I'm doing this in my backyard 
I can't get out to the woods every day like some people, but you got to practice what you can where you can, and that's very important. So if it's your backyard, practice it in your backyard. It'll make it that much easier when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you really need to know what you're doing. Right now I can just go into the uh, kitchen and get a ham sandwich if I wanted to, but out in the woods I'd want to make sure that this setup works. So once again, have a nice day. God bless.